Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Sichamba Jacob. I've got this question with me right over here where we need to find the common ratio and the first term. They have given us in the statement or in the question that the second second term and fifth term of a GP are 16 and 2 respectively. So when we talk about the second term, it's simply a 2. This is second. Since they have said respectively, it means second will move with 16. Fifth will move with two. So we've gathered our data right over here. After getting this data, to find the first term, the common ratio, we need to depend on the term formula. And this is how it looks. So now when we check nicely, what they want us to find, they want us to find the first term, the common ratio. So A is the first term. R is the common ratio. Now, when we look at these two, this and this, these two will help us form two equations. At position two, what number is there? We have a 16. So we're going to write 16 is equal to a r power 2 minus 1. Another formula or another equation, so to say, which we are going to form will look like this. 2 is equal to a r power 5 minus 1. So if you are following nicely, you'll be able to tell that whichever term that we have, I'm writing it here. You see the way it looks? And for N, that's a position, second. You see the way it looks? Even here, 2 is a term. It's right here, where T is. AR, we've maintained. For N, we're writing uh, the position, fifth. That's it. So we can just clean up these two equations. We're going to say 2 is equal to a r power 4. This is our equation now, 1. Remember, I said we need to form two equations. We've formed equation 1. We are now remaining with equation 2. This is our equation number 2. Our job is now to solve these two equations simultaneously. So let me just copy these. I write them over here. So these are the two equations we have 
and we need to solve them simultaneously. To solve these two equations simultaneously, we are going to start with this equation. We divide both sides by R. So we've made A subject of the formula. Or we wanted to separate A from R. So we've just remained with A here. A is equal to 16 over R. We now substitute Can you guess what are we going to put inside here? We're going to put 16 over R because we're saying A is equal to this so where A is here, we are going to write 16 over R. We can even divide R into R, it's 1, into R power, power 4, that's R power 3. So we can clean up, we have 2 is equal to 16 R power 3, divide by 16. So when we divide by 16, this is how it's looking like. So the 16 and the 16 will go, we shall remain with the R power 3. 2 into 2, it's 1. Into 16, it's 8. We have 1 over 8. Let me write it properly. 1 over 8. Cube root both sides. So the 3 and the 3, uh, the root and the power 3 will go. We shall remain with R is equal to 1 over 2. So the value of R is 1 over 2. We can now find the value of A. For the value of A, you can come right over here. You say 16 over 1 over 2 is equal to A. You just substitute the error right over here. And when we work out, this is giving us A32 is equal to A. Thank you so much for watching question 1. Let's go to question 2 and see what we're going to get on question 2. Alright, we managed to find the value of R, which is 1 over 2, and also the first term, which is uh, 32. That simply means question 1 has been answered. Common ratio, first term. We now go to the second question, where we need to find 12 term. So for this one, we just write the formula. Remember, the formula for finding the term is what we need here. So it will be T on N. We are going to write a 12. What they are asking us to find, that's your N. Our A is a 32. Our R is 1 over a 2. Our A, N, N is a 12. Okay? We just work out things here. We are going to get a 32 over, I mean 1 over 2 power 11. And when we work out everything here, we are getting a 32. Here it's, it's 1 over, uh, what is 2 power 11? So 2 power 11 is giving us a 2048. 2048. Finally, our answer here, when we work out 30, 32 into 32, it's a 1. Into 2048, it's a 16.
I mean, say 64, sorry. So that would be 1 over 64. So our answer is 1 over 64. Let's go to the last question and see what we're supposed to do on the last question. So the formula here will look like this. Please note that when finding sum of GP, there are two formulas. It depends. When your error is greater than 1, you switch this. But when it's less like it is, you use this formula. Okay? So that's it. Uh, here, with the data already, our error, we have our A, it's right over here. The only thing that we need to find or to pick, which is not here, it's the N. So the N is what they're asking us. That's 10. So our N is a 10. Therefore, when we substitute, this is what we are going to have. Like this. We work out things here since we're running out of space. Let's see if we can get anything or we see where we can reach. So here, 1 power 10, it's a 1. 2 power 10, that is a 1024. And then we, we, we write on the denominator 1 minus uh. 1 over 2. That's 1 over 2. Hopefully you can see that. So let me just erase. We pick it, we pick it from here. We are at this stage. 32. 1 minus 1 over 1024 over 1 over a 2. So it depends. If you want, you can work with your error as a, as a decimal number, which is a 0 0.5. If you want, you can work with the fraction. It's okay. So when we work out here, this is what we're getting. So here, I just found the lowest common denominator, which is this. So 1 into 1024, it's 1024, times 1, it's this. And then this same into itself, it's 1, times the 1 here, it will give us this. So from this stage, we can say 32. When we subtract there, actually, over 1, one, uh, one over 2, this one. Don't forget this, okay? So this is giving us a... A, a, a 1,000, 1,023 over 1,024. Then we say divide by 1 over 2. And then when we simplify work out here, our final answer will be a 1,023 over a 16. This is the answer we're getting. And if you, if you, if, if you are, if you are, was in a decimal form, your answer would just be a 63.9375. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Sichamba Jacob. Hopefully you've learned one or two things out of this. Keep on watching, share the video, and leave a comment. Bye-bye.